Hi YouTube, um, just thought I would show you a new a new knife, uh, the Lynx Bushcraft knife, a little bit bigger than the Bobcat. This is the prototype, so there could be changes coming. Um, I'm just making the first sort of blank and I've already made a few changes, but I think it's still worth looking at the prototype. Um, so this is the Lynx. It's sort of just short of a five inch blade, so it's quite a bit longer than the Bobcat. Uh, had my first go at doing a little bit of file work. Not sure I'll be doing more of that, but I thought I'd have a go at it. Um, bit of a shadow, haven't we? Bit of new pin design. I'll be making more of those, I quite like that. Okay, uh, it's looking a little bit rough because I've just finished battening and uh, doing a few paper cut tests with it. I'll show you the battening later. I'm not a great fan of battening with a with a knife, but I know that you know people do. And if you want to sell a knife and it can't batten, then nobody's going to be interested. So I've shown I've shown that and uh, just uh, following that some paper some paper tech cuts. Okay, so. Oh one, four mil. It's uh, a red Marley burl. I did have it very highly polished, but it's sort of worn away as I've been using it. And actually, I quite like the matte feel. It sort of gives it a bit more grip in the hand, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, so I hope you like that. Uh, I made a sheath for it, sort of Celtic stroke Nordic dragon type design on there. I've uh, beeswaxed the edges. myself actually I didn't use the best piece of leather for this it's a little bit rough around here but uh, I've slicked it down as much as I can I'll learn from that I knew this was for me so I didn't use my best quality leather okay so that sits in there the, uh, I did make a, a matching fire steel to go with it with a bit of leftovers I can't decide actually, I might make another sheath for it based on the uh, frog carry, which is where the fire steel is at the moment. Uh, just had a bit of pin left over. Quite a slim design, but fits quite nicely in the hand. Quite a nice grip. Okay, right, uh, yeah, just a short video. Oh, dangler. Um, two poppers, and I use. Uh, Chicago screws so that it uh, you know it's attached to the belt and not going to come off a uh, bit of gap there because one idea that I've been looking at is the sort of cross carry of the fire steel like that not decided yet whether that's going to stay or not so that's the that's the dangler that goes with it okay Right, um, yeah, like I said, just a short video, so I'll go across now to um, earlier on when I was battening and uh, doing some paper cut tests so you can see those. Cheers, bye!